Heidi ho there friends and neighbors Bobby here this evening hey friends tonight I'm out in the garage pretty late I'm working on my 2004 Harley Davidson Dyna Wide Glide I noticed friends that uh, the idle had been a little bit rough on this thing and I was having to use the choke pretty much uh, at full choke just to keep this thing running and I decided that I might have had some, maybe possibly had some varnish or something built up in the carburetor because I don't ride this thing a whole lot anymore. So I decided to tear into it and I have found out what the problem is. And I, I want to make this little video to kind of show you guys if you're having the same problem, okay? So stay tuned and I'll have you some answers. Now friends, what I ended up doing first of all, I went ahead and took my air cleaner off. And I have a <clears throat> aftermarket style air cleaner on this thing, kind of like your K&N design. And went ahead and removed the uh, bottom bowl of the carburetor. And I will show that to you. That's right here, okay? This is the bottom bowl. Has your accelerator pump and everything built into it. And I actually had this off last week because I thought it just had some crud in the bottom of this um, bowl and I cleaned it out but it really didn't fix my problem so I done a little bit of research I'm not a Harley Davidson technician but I am an automotive technician been so for many years and um, so I decided I need to go back in this thing one more time and do a little bit more investigate and that's what I have done this evening and we found a few things tonight that I believe is the culprit now in this little cap here that I have filled a carburetor cleaner. I actually have both of the jets in there. I've got the jet tube, and this jet tube actually, the passages on it was actually clogged up. I've got them soaking in here. I took a guitar string, and uh, like an E string on a guitar, brand new string, and I worked it through the little pa uh, holes, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. And I got that freed up of all the crud and varnish that was in there. Now let's go over here to our uh, service manual and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and the proper terminology for this. This is, this is a Harley Davidson factory service manual. And uh, let me get something to point with here. Hang on just a okay. second. Now what I showed you in the little um, cap over there soaking in the carburetor cleaner is Part number 48, 47, and 46, okay? So 46 is the main jet, all right? 47 is the needle jet holder, and 48 is the um, needle jet itself. This needle jet holder, if you'll look, you see how it has little holes and stuff in the side of it? And those holes were clogged up. Okay, they were clogged with varnish. So I got a feeling that that's probably the, mo the majority of our problem right there. Now we also pulled out, let's see if I can find it here, uh, right here, number 30, okay, or 31, let's see here. Yeah, 31 is called the slow jet. I pulled it out and uh, we got it soaking as well. Um, I believe there was some crud in the middle of that as well, okay? So we got that soaking. And also what we did, these passages, let's go right back over here to the, to the motorcycle. <clears throat> I took carburetor cleaner in a spray can, and I sprayed up these passages and blew them out with compressed air, okay? And I believe my needle and seat is okay, because we're getting plenty of fuel to the bowl. The bowl is full when I pull the bowl off so I don't believe that's an issue I think it's just the varnish that's actually built up on the um, on the jets themselves so I'm gonna pull these out and uh, out of the little reservoir of carburetor cleaner here I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out and blow air through them and I'll show you them right before I install and, uh, this here is part number 48 here this is the needle jet and when this fell out of here, I wasn't real sure which way it fell out. But judging by the picture here, it does look like, if you notice, it's a little longer on this one end than it is the other. So I think it's going to go back up in the carburetor just like that right there. Okay? That's the way we're going to try it anyway, judging by the picture. I wasn't able to see that piece actually just fell out. 
Uh, this right here, needle jet holder. I think this here might have been our main problem. You see that little tiny hole right there? That was clogged up solid. So was the one on this side. And we ran a, we used the old guitar string to actually um, knock the crud out of there. And then we blew through it, soaked it, blew through it. Looks nice and clean now. This is the uh, jet that screws into the end of that. It's nice and clean as well, as you can see. And this piece here is number 31, uh, the slow jet. These little, it had little passages in it too. I went ahead and ran the guitar string through it, but I don't believe they were clogged up. But inside here, it did seem to be sort of clogged up. I couldn't see light through it when I first uh, took it out of there. It might have been a little clogged up inside there. So friends, we're getting ready to uh, put all these jets back in place, just as the diagram in the book here. And it's pretty simple and straightforward. And it looks like this piece here is the only one I'm concerned about. And I'm gonna stick it back in first, just like that right there. And I think that's gonna be how it's done. And we're gonna button everything back up. We're gonna go ahead and, um, of course, like I said, put the jets back in. That's the only thing we got out. We're gonna put our fuel bowl on. Be careful to um, hook the linkage back up for your accelerator pump. Otherwise, you won't be getting any uh, accelerator action on the accelerator pump. So we're gonna put all that back together and we're gonna hope that this uh, takes care of our problem and we'll let you know here shortly. One more thing I wanted to show you right quick, friends. To get that slow jet out of there, I had an old, uh, I don't know if this is a Craftsman screwdriver or what, but that was the only screwdriver that I had that would fit up in there. And actually to be able to get it lined up in there straight, I had to cut half of the handle off. So you may have to sacrifice an old screwdriver actually to remove that uh, primary jet and then a regular old uh, stubby um, straight blade will work for your other one as well and for the two. Just wanted to let you know that right quick. Now I'm getting ready to button this thing back up and we're gonna see if this takes care of our idle issue. And once again, the problem with this one was we couldn't get it to idle real well without using the choke. And we're hoping that this is going to take care of it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I think I might have got this problem taken care of. This thing's already sounding a lot better. Like I said, it's a little late at night. I didn't want to run the motorcycle uh, too long. I don't want to bother my neighbors. But uh, I cranked it up on full choke. And after just about a minute or two, I was able to bring the choke in about halfway, which I haven't been able to do for quite some time. And all the spitting back and everything is gone. It definitely didn't, it didn't even spit back once. So tomorrow night I will um, finish up this video. I'm gonna take it on a test drive, get it nice and warm. And then we will set the uh, final idle adjustment because I've been tweaking around with that a little bit here lately too, and I probably got it off which we can do that with just the, with the air cleaner in place. So friends, I think I got this problem taken care of. So if you have this problem with your Harley, this is the fix, okay? If you get to where you can't um, ride it unless the choke is on all the way or almost all the way, you probably got some varnish build up inside the carburetor. So friends, I'll see you again to finish up this video tomorrow evening. Stay tuned. Okay, friends and neighbors, we're back here on day two of our little carburetor cleanout project. I just got back from taking this thing on a nice little test drive, warmed the engine up, started off with the choke on full, was eventually able to move the choke all the way in, and I still had a good idle, okay? I did, I come back to the shop here, and I actually had to tweak the idle uh, speed up just a little bit. I'll show you how to do that right quick. I left the air cleaner cover off just for a minute. There is a screw right down here that takes a Phillips head screwdriver. And if you turn it clockwise, you'll actually raise the idle, the curb idle. Or if you turn it counterclockwise, you'll actually lower that curb idle. And all we had to do is make a slight adjustment on that. And this motorcycle was running like brand new again. 
So friends, if you have the problem on your Harley where it'll only idle when you have the choke on either full or partially way out, you probably have some clogged up jets. So I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, tell a friend about us, and we'll see you next time. Take care.